ask Ruth to speak to you today because I am continually uplifted by her strong faith and strength and she never seems to get down, although I know she probably does, through everything that she goes through. And she has been a true inspiration to me um, through all, all these years and I am truly blessed to get to know her and to be a part of her life and be a part of my life. So hers was more about the trials, and my part is more about the temptations. And originally I had this great idea of bringing in and laying on the altar all of the things that tempted me, and that I thought would also tempt you. And when I realized that the whole area up here would be covered, <laughs> I figured that wasn't such a good idea. So we just have our normal candles and flowers instead. But I do want to bring to you, first of all, that you know, we all go through trials, we all go through temptations, and for some of us it's every day that we have to start new, some of us it's every hour, and some of us it's every single minute we have to fight those temptations. But the beauty of it is, if you remember back to the scripture that was read, Jesus was also tempted, and that to me is a very strong message that as perfect as Jesus was, he was also tempted, and that the, the devil, the evil one, whatever you want to call that person or it, didn't give up on him either. And so when we're going through those, it is to try to, to weaken us and to try to take us away from our faith and to lead us away from God and our loving God. So today what I want us to do, since it's the first Sunday of Lent, and since I'm a teacher at heart, this is hopefully you got a card and a pencil when you came in. This is the time I'd like you to take those out. And if you don't have those, um, maybe we can get one of the ushers to come and get those for you. I have some of the musicians. Thank you. 